back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Mark the Movie Man here, and today we've got a doozy of a film for you. Now, before we get started, a couple things to note. Check out madisonhorror.net for information on the upcoming Madison Horror Film Festival that's at the beginning of November. Also, check out oshkoshhorror.com for information on the Oshkosh Horror Film Festival coming up in October. I'm hoping to cover both events. In fact, I'm going to be part of the Madison Horror Film Festival, so check those out, those websites, and set your travel plans for the Chiefs Head State. Also, if you're looking for some interesting uh, bits to listen to with your ears, check out the dncpodcast.com. I had the chance of being part of uh, their show where they interviewed the lead actor from the movie Dead Weight. It was a very interesting show, a lot of fun. Check it out, not for the innocent of ears. And if you want to catch me live and embarrassing myself in front of the camera, live, you got to check this out. The first take. Yes, there'll be episode four this Saturday, 1 p.m. Central Time on Spreecast.com. Link down below. I will be live. I will be in the chat. Uh, they'll be able to talk to people about films. We've got headlines. I've got a new feature called The Random Review. We're going to look at some trailers and get your take on some things. And we'll feature the... Uh, ever popular section shit from my basement so first take check us out saturday uh, 1 p.m central time on spreecast now on to today's show which is a doozy of a title the oversexed rug suckers from mars yes that is the title i did not make this up if i had uh wow anyway this film the the premise of it is these aliens come down from Mars after 10 million years. Uh, they were here 10 million years ago, and they want to check on their experiment, which is humans. Well, when they find humans have trashed the planet, they decide they want to cross a human with a vacuum cleaner. So they give life to a vacuum cleaner and take off in hoping that nature takes its course. Well, at first, nature takes its course with a bum, and a bum falls in love with the vacuum cleaner. But then the vacuum cleaner becomes the property of a couple where the vacuum cleaner ends up sucking up some aphrodisiac tea leaves and he ends up trying to copulate with the girl of the couple he ends up killing the guy of the couple goes next door to the one neighbor lady copulates with her conceives the child and the child pops out looks like a dust buster made uh, across with a cabbage patch doll and that's just one of the many plot threads they throw into this low budget no budget film uh, wow where to start with this thing now michael paul gerard this was his first film so we got to take that into account. He went on to make some great movies such as uh, Babes 2, Lost in Beaver Creek, and uh, the couple witchcraft films. And he also made a very popular film called Body Parts. So you know what quality cinema we're getting with his first feature. Now, some pluses. Uh, I liked some of the special effects and the props. They knew what budget they had and they worked within it. The spaceship of the aliens, these are very small aliens now, was a Simon Says turned upside down and a spot lamp uh, casing over the top of it. I loved it. It was great. <laughs> I watched it twice because they were like, is that a Simon Says? Oh yeah, it was. Uh, you know, the aliens too were claymation, which surprised me. I didn't expect that. Now they were naked humanoid claymation figures and they were anatomically correct or incorrect, depending on how you want to look at it. So the stop motion surprised me as well. Uh, <laughs> what also surprised me is that a film of this nature just wasn't as bad so bad it's good that it could have been you know uh if that makes any sense uh, you know i was hoping for some cheesy classic cult humor you know so bad it's good stuff but it, it just there was so much going on that it kind of distracted you away from it now i love the animations they did with the vacuum cleaners as well and the actors did their best to make that vacuum uh, animated uh, so you know I, I give props there and the reason why the baby looked like a dust buster crossed with a cabbage patch doll was because it was a dust buster with Cabbage Patch doll parts attached to it. Some little girl in the 80s is crying because those Cabbage Patch dolls weren't available and one of them ended up going to this film. <laughs> Whether that's good or bad, you can decide. Folks, Oversexed Rug Suckers from Mars is not as entertaining as the title may suggest. While there were some uh, great moments in it, uh, the film and the shtick just kind of gets a little tiresome and, you know, this film could have done better by being shorter I think you know trying to make it full length just seemed to be stretching it out and you know some of the f jokes were really forced and, and and just not really funny anymore it just lost its shtick after a while so 
if you're interested because of the title, rent it, but be fair warmed, folks. This is not so bad it's good film. It's just kind of meh their film with some uh, interesting elements, but not enough to really raise it to that cult so bad it's good level. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stopped.